He's had a little to drink. I don't know what her excuse is. Look, honey, we're going to the theater. We're not going to be in it. So go change, huh? What in the name of... Girl, you done lost your natural mind. Look at your head. What have you done with your head? I mean, your hair. Nothing except cut it off. And that's the truth. It's what ain't been done to it. You expect this boy to go out with, you all, with your head all nappy like that. That's up to you, George, if he's ashamed of his heritage. Oh, don't be so proud of yourself, Benny, just because you look eccentric. How can something that's natural be eccentric? That's what being eccentric means, being natural. Get dressed. Huh. I don't like that, George. Why must, you be, why must you and your brother make an argument out of everything people say? Because I hate assimilationist negros. Will somebody tell me whatever assimila whoever means? Oh, it's just a college girl's way of calling people Uncle Toms, but that isn't what it means at all. Well, what does it mean? It means someone who is willing to give up his own culture and submerge himself completely in the dominant, and in this case, oppressive culture. Oh dear, 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 here we go. A lecture on the African past, on our great West African heritage. In one second, we will hear about the great Ashanti empires, the great Sanhe civilizations, and the great sculpture of Benin, and then some poetry in the Bantu. And the whole monologue will end with the word heritage. Let's face it, baby, your heritage is nothing but a bunch of raggedy-ass spirituals and some grass huts. Grass huts? See there, you are standing there in your splendid ignorance, talking about people who were the first smell iron on the face of the earth. To Ashante, we were performing surgical operations, and the English were still tattooing themselves with blue dragons. Have a seat, George. Warm, ain't it? I mean, for September. Just like they say about Chicago weather. If it's too hot or cold for you, just wait a minute and it will change. I already say it's got to do with the bombs and things that they keep setting off. Would you like a nice cold beer? No, thank you. I don't care for beer. I hope she hurries up. What time is the show? It's an 8.30 curtain. That's just Chicago, though. In New York, standard curtain time is 8.40. Oh, that's nice. I've never been to New York. New York ain't got nothing Chicago ain't. Just a bunch of hustling people all squeezed up together being Eastern. Oh, you've been? Plenty of times. Walter Lee Younger. Plenty. We, what we got to drink in this house? Why don't you offer this man some refreshment? They don't know how to entertain people in this house, man. Thank you. I don't really care for anything. Where's Mama? She ain't come back yet. Why all you college boys wear them faggoty looking white shoes? Walter Lee. Well, you look crazy as hell. White shoes, cold as it is. You have to excuse him. No, he don't. Excuse me for what? What you always excusing me for? I'll excuse myself when I needs to be excused. They look as funny as black knee socks beneath the wears out here all the time. It's college style, Walter. Oh.